one record of Valhazak, but it was more like a possible match, not a definite ID. We might get an upgrade from shooting stars to superstars if we actually do find Valhazak here. Always about the fame for you, isn't it, um, Handler? Greetings, fellow hunters. Welcome back to my Monster Hunter World playthrough. This is part 32, episode 31. Well, well, well. Valhazak. Monster I've only fought once ever um, up, to, up till now. <laughs> up till. <laughs> Not sure what that was. And as you can see, I've uh, come prepared. I have some gnarl berries and mega nutrients ready in the uh, in a specific slot. I've scoured the rotted veils for some tracks. And you could do the same if you come down here. You can. You need to talk to the third fleet master uh, in order to get the tracks. So they'll spawn twice to make them appear. But anyway, I want to get into this because. Um, I have a pretty bad record of the last time I fought Val Hazak in the story mode. So I'm really going to have to improve here if I'm to beat this thing. But it's through here. The way is now clear to us. And we come to this clearing here. Admittedly beautiful background. But a hideous looking sight here. It's horrible. Well, it's my first reaction to this thing when I first saw it. But this is a horrific, um, hideous creature we have to fight today. The third of the other dragons, Valhazak. Now, Valhazak, a very interesting elder dragon. In, in that, uh, it is the. Monster garbage dispenser itself. Uh, it's quite large. And between this uh, Teostra and Kushidora, personally, this is like, this thing is a... Oh, wow, that amounts already. Awesome. Personally, this thing is a uh, second for me in terms of which is harder out of the three. Um, personally, because... It, not, not necessarily because this thing is very unpredictable or has any real dangerous attacks, but its, it's ability, the effluvial discharge, is so potent. Halving your health, you know, it, it's pretty big. So I could literally just pick you off. I got the dragon bone cut today because this thing's weaknesses are um, um, fire at free, uh, dragon at free, and yeah, so it's just a pretty um, convenient weaknesses. Oh, is it paradise here? It is. We can get some damage on it. So I've got the dragon bone cut today because admittedly I don't have any good fire weapons. Um, farming it would take a bit of a while. All right, so we want to. Not be in front of it. We do not want to be in front of this thing at all costs because if it, it's a, a fluvial blast could do a ton of damage, an absolute ton, potentially at least two shots. It's weak points on its its uh, head, its belly, and its tail, I believe. And that's and its head swipes there. As you can see, it constantly emits a fluvial. So something like a fluvial expert, the decoration. Really helps. So Valhazak is pretty lanky. Uh, so you can, it's very easy to get under it and uh, hit it with some less powerful moves. I'd also recommend a Diablo Swall and uh, just any fire weapons also. Once again, do very well against it. Uh, got 
ton of null berries and uh, the nutrients. Uh, uh, so attacks are very predictable. It likes to charge at you. It likes to head bash at you. Um, but yeah, the, I like I said, I don't have a good record fighting this thing. The first time I fought it when I was obviously a bit of a noob at this, uh, it took me like 45 minutes or something like that to beat this thing. Yeah. So, I don't have good memories, but now obviously, obviously, I'd like to make that again. <laughs> so, I'm not sure if it'll take me that long, but, you know, those memories will always be there. Now, yes, I think, on a side note, I do think, well, Vals has that, it's no doubt hideous, that's for sure. And there it is, that, um, I want to get some distance here. Now, thankfully, um, I think I have some Astero Jerky, because I was I was informed that eating Astero Jerky uh, uh, reduces your um, health boost. Gouge all the way, basically. So, that plus the Nullberry, good times. I do not want to be in front of it, especially when it's charging its... Especially it's charging that attack, does a lot of damage. Ow. So, what I do think Valhazak is indeed pretty hideous. Uh, Look at it. I'm one of those strange people that think it's also kind of strangely beautiful in its own, in its own way. I just see it's, uh, you know, it's wailing cries, it's graceful movements when it's walking, and it's... And that theme, can you hear it? It, it makes me think of something of this sort of tragic element of our it's all it's, it's kind of beautiful. But anyway, I, I'm probably just reading too much into it. I mean, you can listen to its soundtrack and tell me what you think. I think it... It fits this thing perfectly. Uh, it, it does have a lot of health, so... Most health has of any of the three Elder Dragons we've fought so far. Oh. oh no. I forgot about that. It likes to blast the ground. And this is why it took me so long, because I had to fish through no berries to try and negate its uh, fluvial. No, no way. Again. So, probably where I guess this fight is a bit slow, um, because there's a lot of health and you have to be attacking it a lot. Do you want any chance, you know? It's down here. has affected me again. No problems. Now there is a slope here, so you can you can do this, you can slide off of it. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Yeah, if you get hit by that, it does at least half your health. It is a very powerful attack. Thankfully, Valhazak isn't as, um, Faster as rampant as something like Nergigante or Teostra. That's really bad. Just healed. Don't underestimate how much its physical attacks can do against you. Oh, come on! Jerky. Okay. Ooh. Hello. And once again, it's um, it's elder ability is kicking in, so I'm hoping 
når jeg venter kan lige sådan at jeg har taget ham her til Right, great. Another mount. Now I believe at a uh, tempered and not shepherd stages, it's um a flu of your stuff. It depends on how much health you have. If you've had a meal, if you're reached the max 150 health or maybe more, but uh, you're going to need it because uh, it could. It's a flu of your ability drains more and more of your health. Leaves you at like can leave you at like a quarter. I, I can't remember if it's uh, at a uh, tempered or arch shepherd stages. But yeah, personally, once again, the reason I didn't really explain it in detail because I got sidetracked. Because Valhazak, I'd say, to me, what well, it's definitely not as hard as Tails for for sure. But to me, it's a little easier than Kushidoi, mainly because its ability is just so potent and deadly, and it can virtually one-shot you when it uses it. It also, it also has one or two powerful attacks with its own. That's a Fluvial Blast. It is very slow. And it's quite predictable. But it just has, again, it has a lot of health, which is a big deal for me. Because you have to attack it so much, you know, using null berries and such. To heal constantly. Um, but Kushidori is just really predictable to me. It just really... Kushidori is just kind of predictable, and it's, he does have some powerful attacks as well, but he just he's kind of... They're very easy to get away from. I suppose you could say the same thing about Valhazak, but... But I don't know, of all the uh, just just items you have to bring and just preparation uh, for it. Uh, the fact also, as well, it's also not as difficult to mount it. Or <laughs> I say that, I managed to mount it twice, although that was pretty lucky because they were pretty small edges. All right, now it's gone to the, the uh, now it's gone inside, inside the Rotten Veil, so it's even more dangerous now. Another hunt, another shield, shield hacks there. Change the cleanse booster there. That can get rid. Of, that can negate some of the um, fluvial. Uh, let's see if we can't stun it. Nope. Uh, I'm aware there are strategies how to beat it. Um, Really dirty strategies, have to, have to admit. Now, when Valhazak does this, plays dead. Um, I mean, it's pretty obvious that it's playing dead. Like, why would play? Like, what you want to do is, you want to be behind this thing when it's playing dead because it is actually charging its. Yeah, and I'm dying fast here, so I'm just, I'm just going to heal right now. Um, it is charging its. Uh, I forget what the term is called. Like, um. Misama, Misama, something like that. And what it does, and so you want to be behind it or else it will emit a blast with that charged Misama and it will deal a lot of damage. Plus it also uses its, as well, its Elder ability. Oh, that's gonna hit, that's gonna hit me. Yeah, if that cloud hits you once again, it will halve your health. Aesthetic-wise, this thing is, once again, just amazing art. Just beautiful. Beautiful work of art, it's certainly. Uh, Want 
to it. Maybe should blast. I think it does, you know. That's fine. Okay, that works. Ooh. Right, dude, I want to I want to jump on it. Its ability now. Alright, um. I could be using a flash pop where it's charging. As you can see that it's charging again. That's fine, I'll let it. Uh, I can, it is. Uh, you can use, probably best to use a flash pod there. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. It's charging, I'm out of stamina. Can you hear me? <laughs> yeah, so as you can see, the um, effluvial is uh, du effect is doubled. Because it's not emitting from the veil, but from the Valhazak itself. Broke up its tail, which is pretty good. I want to be. Now, I'm aware, of course, there are, like I said before, there are strategies to make this thing easier, but. You know what? I'm. I want to fight this the real way, you know? Just the proper way, you know what I mean? It's fun. I mean, I'm not criticizing... I'm not criticizing your way of having fun. Like, that's that's cool. That must be... You must be having a time of your life. Finding new ways of taking out Valhazak. But... I just want to fight this uh, the way any new player would, you know? See that getting off a lot of hits against it, but considering that head has has um like about around a third more than a uh, Teostra has, then uh you want to be getting off as much hits as you can against it, because ideally I need to be dealing around um 90 of these big hits in in the next within the time that we have. In fact, as you can see there, I'm I don't think I'm even close to wounding it. I know I have a guard weapon, but I don't think it's. I, I, don't, I don't think guard really helps much here. Stand it. Come on, one more. It's wounded. Excellent. This is good. This is very, very good. We've done considerably better than last time. Oh no! Oh, I didn't. Oh, I didn't expect it to. So what to do for now? Please let me clear the blast. No, I'm not. That was the most dangerous thing that's happened to me or hunt. So yeah, that is why, in my opinion, it's not quite as hard as Kushador. No, because Kushador, flash pods, bow guns, destroy it. Literally destroy it. And wear that much. Dragon Piercer, you know, that that kind of thing. But Valhazak, with that, it's deadly effluvial, constantly draining your health, and it, it's draining your health, and with its big health, that could be, that could be a problem.
Dragon Bone is still doing a ton of damage here. And there we go! In under half an hour. The fastest time yet, so... Hmm. But that is it. All three Elder Dragons are down. We have cleansed this ecosystem, that's for sure. Maybe we've made it worse, because maybe... Maybe Valhazak is part of that ecosystem. But we now stand as Titan Slayers of this new world. We ourselves can make some upgrades if we want to with uh, a fluvial... Experts deceit deceased scale. Interesting. So Valhazak, I don't know, I still maybe it's just hmm, maybe it's the fear factor that really does it for me, just knowing he can cut your heart health in half and then just one swipe, bam, you're dead. I can't click because I'm so sweaty, but not because I was like really, really tough or anything, but because it's really warm once again. But that is it, Valhazak. Bringing a lot of uh no berries, mega mega potions, uh Max potions, nutrients, uh, and you should be fine against it, really. And uh, uh, just a nice, powerful weapon. Its attacks are—they are very predictable. So, and guarding always helps. In fact, aside from its alluvial blast, you're, you're kind of pretty much nearly invincible against it. Anyway, let's take it all. Oh, the dragon blood is nice. Was it bone? Probably bone. But there it is. And now, only one monster stands in our way of beating the game. So yeah, Valhazak, you should be fine against it. I still think, I still think it's a wonderful creation and tragically beautiful, but it's it's not so bad after all. Maybe I'll have to give it some a refort. Hmm, I wonder who this strange friend is. I think I know. I think it's... isn't it that tracker from, like, the Barrow Hunt? I can't... can't quite remember myself. Understood. Hmm. Something strange is on the horizon. Anyway, uh, that is Val Hazak. Maybe I should, like I said, give it some reforts and maybe it is one of the easier of Elder Dragons to take out. It's definitely between that or Kushaladora, but definitely not as strong as Teostra, that's for sure. So that's going to be it. Uh, we take on a brand new monster, one this world literally has never seen, this new world. So it'll be really exciting and discovery for everyone involved in this game, except for the players. But <laughs> So that is it. Thank you very much for watching, fellow hunters. Take care, and I shall see you all again soon in the next hunt. Farewell.